back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new action figure news for you guys. Kind of all over the place a little bit. Not just WWE or AEW. Kind of have like a sort of like a mod pause of information. I didn't want to do the typical news day where, you know, I have the images on the screen because I just want to get on here and talk a little bit. So that's, what's, that's just what I'm going to do today, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Just sit back, relax, and let's get into this wrestling action figure news. And let's start off with this brand new thing. They popped it up just a few days ago on Ring collectibles.com i want to say they promoted it on instagram first it went live and it is this the coffin drop darby allen ringside exclusive aew unrivaled figure now it was very odd because usually you know we see the images first of the figure and then they'll put up something like this later on i don't really recall them showing off a, a promo picture first and then the, or maybe aew did that with the Britt baker but I, I can't remember if you guys remember that let me know down in the comment section below but you guys are probably wondering what in the blue hell is a Coffin Drop Darby Allen ringside exclusive figure, and that's what we're going to get into right now. So it says Coffin Drop Darby Allen AEW ringside exclusive. You do have a little description down here that I'm going to read to the class aloud, like a freaking note going back and forth that gets called out by the teacher. It says Coffin Drop Darby Allen AEW ringside exclusive toy wrestling action figure by Jazzwares. This amazing set includes two heads, soft goods body bags, soft PVC entrance jacket, coffin shaped skateboard, as well as one of a kind packaging in the shape of a coffin. Now the biggest deal is is what event is this? You know, what is what is this face paint going to look like? I will say what's really awesome about Darby Allen figures is that Darby Allen figures are always fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen a bad Darby Allen. Every figure that I feel in hand, it literally feels immaculate. I want a fed with a Darby Allen figure so damn bad, I might just book him as my champion tomorrow. That's just a joke, but that figure's bomb as hell. All of them. I really want both Chase variants loose to go with, you know, our unmatched series and our AEW Unrivaled figure. However, this figure is going to be badass too. You know there's going to be a trillion Darby Allens, man. There's going to be a trillion Darby Allens, but I know this figure is going to be bomb. It does look like his boot, like his whole getup was pretty, you know, it's it's Darby Allen, man. He's not freaking, you know, he's kind of like Goldberg. Kind of, like I know it's kind of weird to say, but he's going to wear the same exact thing and just change the face paint a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Jeff Hardy in the sense that he's not going to wear different sleeves and different shirts and different face paint and different, you know what I'm saying? So he's going to be, it's going to be Darby Allen with a new face paint and uh, hopefully it doesn't suck. So hopefully the head sculpt will be good. It does say that it comes with two head sculpts so maybe both of them will be good. Maybe I'm guessing we'll finally get a yelling expression for Darby Allen. Then a more pissed off serious Darby Allen. It's really the only two you could really go with. It does say it's going to come with a coffin shaped skateboard which should be really cool. It'll be like his other skateboards that we've seen. What's really sick is the soft goods body bag. Maybe you want to do a body bag match in a fed. I think that would be really really sick to you know try and put the other guy in the body bag. That would be really Really sick AI. I would love to see something like that but it's weird because it doesn't come with a coffin Isn't that weird it's literally called coffin drop Darby Allen it does not come with a coffin it comes with a coffin shaped skateboard and the packaging is gonna look like a coffin but it does not come with an actual Jazzwares produced coffin now I will say ringside exclusives or ringside collectibles does have a really sick coffin and uh, you know we've seen some other coffins like some third party creators companies things have made some coffins before so those are probably ones that you may want to use I just just thought that was very weird to call it that. It says freaking soft PVC entrance jacket. I'm guessing it's going to be very similar to his rubber jackets that have came with the other Darby Allen figures, so I wouldn't get too, too excited about that. But that is something to mention, you know. You might as well put it out there, get it out there, and all those different things. But Coffin Drop Darby Allen, this is something that's insane. The pre-order price is $44.99. Ha! I don't remember what the Cody Rhodes figure was when it first came out for pre-order. I don't remember that. That one whatsoever, but at the same time, Brad, it's down to $29.99 right now. It may have been $36 or $34 or $38 or maybe even $39.99. Like the damn Jurassic Express two-pack or whatever the hell. Where's that at? Let me go find that. The Jurassic Express two-pack is $45.99. So you're telling me that I could get two figures for a dollar more over the Darby Allen that's one figure? I don't know, Brad. I don't know if I agree with that one. That's pretty interesting. The Blood and Guts two-pack is $35.99. Now, granted, those figures are older, but it has to it has to amount to something. The Britt Baker is $39.99 Blood and Guts pack. So I don't I don't freaking know, man. I just thought that was very interesting and thought you guys would want to see that and know about it because it's pretty interesting. Can't wait to see actual images of it. I would imagine it would be soon, but AEW Coffin Drop Darby Allen. If you use promo code MD Toys, you can get shipping free. It'll still be 40 something bucks. I'm gonna get like you guys know, I'm trying to complete the full, you know, AEW mock and loose collection. 
But, you know, I just gotta take it one day at a time and get through that, man. Now, as far as WWE action figure news, I literally had what I wanted to talk about in my brain, and then as soon as I clicked it, I clicked on, you know, the, the I hit record on the camera, mine went completely blank. I do not remember what the hell I was gonna say about WWE figures. Maybe it was about upcoming videos and fix-ups and stuff. You guys remember I wanted to do all of my fix-ups that are elite, you know, like crazy good fix-ups ranked from worst to best in the entire collection. I wanted to do the top five customs that I've made personally in my collection. Oh yeah, that's what it was. The WrestleMania 38 Elites are, are available. You can actually go get them. I found them on eBay and I actually bought a Shawn Michaels. If you guys don't know this set, it's the WrestleMania 38 set. Um, mine should be coming very soon. I don't even know if it's shipped yet. That's pretty upsetting. But I did order a WrestleMania 38 Shawn loose. Hopefully the rest of the set comes in very soon. I'd imagine that Ringside Collectibles will get it, but I found it on eBay just searching stuff up. Found the full set, so I was like, hell yeah. And I was gonna buy the full set, but I was like, Ringside Collectibles should be shipping very soon since, you know, if eBay has it, I imagine that Ringside is gonna get it, so that's something. So the WrestleMania 38, they have the full wave, I'm pretty sure. They have the Build-A-Figure and all that, so you may wanna go check that out. You can't use promo code MD Toys, but if you don't care about that and you just wanna get it, uh, maybe you wanna go pre-order the set on Ringside Collectibles because they should be shipping right now or any day now. So that's what I wanted to talk about there. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video, uh, I, I'm glad that I remembered that. I was just searching around on the computer and bam, WrestleMania 38 figures popped up. But the last thing that I wanted to talk about is AEW Unmatched Series Number 2. Now, Ringside Collectibles posted their full review of the whole wave, right? They posted the full wave there. And so I'm hoping that this week mine comes in and we can get those reviews up. And uh, that is something that I wanted to talk about a little bit is because the AEW Unmatched Series Number 2, how good is it going to be? Is it going to be great? Is this where you guys want me to debut that new series where I go through the reviews and then, you know, I do the 2 and one 2 and one 2 and one and then on that last day, I come in with the unmatched review and I break down the full set, like detailed, like detail the full set, what I think the best figure is, like we'll rank the set in the video, we'll break down, you know, each figure individually, what, you know, like just for example, like with the Tay Conti, this is our fourth women's figure in the Unrivaled line, this is our first Tay Conti, this is this one's interchangeable head skull, and then we move on to MJF, you know, this is our third or fourth MJF, break down, you know, things like that, maybe future MJFs that are already planned. Go over the different, get, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of play with that and then say, this is the best head sculpt in the set. This is the worst head sculpt in the set. You know, and just kind of break all those different aspects of the thing. I have a whole thing that I could break down. I have like a little sheet there that I could run down and break down the whole set. And that would be its own video there. So you'd get a little bit more detail. So you, you'd have your two-in-one reviews. I'd break down the figures, show them off. It mentions some of those details here and there throughout the review. But then in that final video, I would come back and give you guys all the numbers and crunch it and all those different things and detail the set in full depth. If you guys want to be interested in that, let me know down in the comment section. But I, I wanted to get on here and talk about that set a little bit because I'm I'm, I'm kind of excited. Like, I guess if you had, like, a 10 is, like, maximum excitement level, like maybe an AEW Unmatched Series 3 or 4 for me. Um, and then, like, uh, a, a level 1 would be do not give a damn about this set. This set's absolute dog shish. I would say I'm probably at about a 5 or a 6. I think the MJF is garbage. It will have to remain to be seen, but I hate the rubber coat first glance. I'm not a big fan of the gear. I think the head sculpt's kind of trash. I love the Wardlow. I think that figure looks insanity. Really excited for that one. I think the Chase figures in this set are absolute buns. Both the Sting and the MJF, I think, are pretty dog water. I think Santana and Ortiz are fantastic. I'm really excited for those. I like the head sculpts. I like the tattoo detail. I love the camo gear and stuff and like switching some parts around. I am very interested to see how good that Sting figure is. That's another thing I wanted to mention. Really excited to see how good the Sting figure is. Just because, for, I mean, first of all, I love Sting. I love Sting. But second of all, I want to see if the figure is, is trash or it's going to come in as one of the better AEW figures of the year, which I'm very excited about because this Unmatched Series 2 set is going to be included in my top 10 AEW figures of the year as a full deal there as we break down that and get closer to the end of the year. We got collections videos. We got top 10s, top 5s, you know, all the best figures of the year, all the worst of the year. Uh, do you guys want to see top 10 worst and best? AEW in two separate videos and then would you also like to see the top 10 best WWE and worst WWE in two separate videos? Let me know those down in the comment section below. But yeah man, pretty interesting deal. Lots of stuff going on, lots of great things. I wanted to get on here and do a news video just, you know, cutting the shish. You get on here and just get in front of the camera there. So I hope you guys did enjoy the
the video. That is about it for the news. Hopefully, I don't wake up to some more news in the morning and then have to do another whole, I mean, I will if I have to. It's just a whole deal there, you know, getting on here and, and spilling the deal there. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video for the news. Let me know what you think of all the things down in the comment section below. If you want to go pre-order any of these figures, use promo code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles to save 10%. They're also doing their big Cyber Monday sale and Black Friday all in one there. Maybe you want to go check it out and get, uh, you know, catch up on some figures you missed out on. I don't know, man. I, you know, get, get into the wallet holiday season. Go shop for some people. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and don't cross the line like me when I decided that I wanted to collect AEW figures fully mock collection like a moron. You cross